What's up, Lethal Army? Today I'm gonna to be showing you how to make this $10 spear. Let's get to it. The materials you'll need are this $10 shovel, a couple nails, spray paint. Optional, you can use grip tape or duct tape. First, I'll be taking my shovel and cutting off the head right where it begins to curve. I'm going to be using this angle grinder to cut through the metal. Remember, when you're cutting with an angle grinder, sparks go everywhere. Cover yourself with thick clothing, thick pants, a hood, glasses, and a respirator. Also, ear protection. Now that you've cut the head of the shovel off, you're going to draw a spear design of what you want the tip to be like. Make sure that you have a long protruding metal spike from the back so that you're able to insert that into the handle of the shovel. Scraps aren't totally useless. Now you've got a really rough cut of your spearhead. Since it was on a shovel, it's a little warped, so I'm going to hammer it flat. Since I'm going to be putting this head of the spear into the spear handle, I need room to put the spear in. But my shovel didn't have any room and was just wooden dowel. So I'm gonna remove this metal part and pull it up so then I can squish the metal around here and drill holes through it. After having removed the outer sheath, I decided it was easier just to cut a slit in here and insert the top of the spear, and I can put this on, sandwich it in place, then drill the holes through. I cut the slit for the tip of the spear, and I've now put in the tip of the spear. I've changed the head design of my spear because I think it's easier for it to stick in this way. Also, the shorter the tip is, the less of a chance there is that it's going to break off. Now I'm going to drill the holes in, put the sheath over it, hopefully it'll be secure. At this point, your spear is done. Everything's been attached. The only thing left to do is add aesthetics. I'm gonna be adding plumber's epoxy up here, just to cover up all of these holes, make it look a little bit better. Then I'll add grip tape along the handle where the center balance point is so I know where to throw it from. Now the epoxy is hardened at the tip. Since I have this empty gap because I broke off a piece of the metal, I'm going to be wrapping this whole top bit in paracord just to make it look a little bit nicer. Now that I finished the spear, I'm going to add the grip tape where I'm going to be holding onto the spear. To find where you need to throw the spear, balance it on your hand, and then once you've got that, make a mark there, and you're going to grab behind the balance point, and that's where you throw from. And this is where I'm going to be adding the grip tape.
watching guys. Hope you enjoyed my video. Please don't forget to share, comment down below what you want to see next. I'm outie.